Rob setting up his shower. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Rob. There's Ian. Famous Ian. He's walking around with his ice cream. Ice cream. Yeah, it's a little camera, this. It's a little beauty. Look, he's got a screen at the back, too. <laughs> yeah. So. Make sure everything goes together right. I haven't set it up yet. It's the first time setting it up. He's done a good job. What do you reckon, folks? Yeah, it looks better than all right. Tell you why, he's lucky I didn't climb in bed with him last night, eh? Oh, my God. <laughs> no, no, I was very comfy, like I said. I was quite comfy in that that little setup. Nice and warm. Nice and warm. <laughs> no, it's not live. <laughs> Now this one will be edited together after I go home, so it'll probably be going to be a few weeks before, unless unless I unless I set it up at um, at my sister's. So there's his uh, yeah rooftop tent and the um, solar panels. Gosh, my brain brain went blank then. I forgot what they were called. <laughs> That's the solar panels all set up there, so it should be chucking in. It's got the Q U Butte uh, Red Arc. His cute little gadgets. Being a gadget guy, oh, he's going to have a ball with that. I know I would. Mate, that thing tells you everything. <laughs> you can control everything from that. And not only that, can you control just about everything. You can actually use your phone and control everything. So you can sit up the top there, turn lights on and off and whatever you want. Yeah, from up there. When I, when I went to bed, I was turning the lights on and off from up in the bed. I see, you already set it up. Yeah, I set it up, hooked it up, and we turned the lights Sweet. on and off from bed. And it was good. <laughs> I had to get down and turn them off and then go to bed. Yeah, so great. Rob set it up for the first time last night. <laughs> I don't blame him, I would have done the same too. <laughs> yeah, so it was your first night. How was it? It was great, yeah. You know, I woke, up, I woke up about this morning and I thought, I'm at home. Yeah! <laughs> like, out home, I'm yeah. Right here, you know. Like, yeah. I, was, I was that comfy, you know. Yeah, it's like, it's like your bed's at home. Yeah, it is. It was great. Yeah, was Luke, cool. Luke's makes an extra thick mattress in these, so you don't have to go and buy another mattress to put on top of the other mattress like you do with all the others. Yeah. So... It worked well, eh? Yeah. Coles, Coles delivering. Coles? Yeah, the Coles van. Oh, that's me shopping, eh? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that's what I thought of you shopping off. It's a Coles truck. On a Pizza Hut delivers. <laughs> Enoch Ken, too. Look, there is a Coles truck coming in. Wow. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think that's for us. <laughs> Unless Rob's got a surprise he hasn't mentioned yet. I'd say that'll be the owners. They get the groceries delivered, which is a good idea. I, I had it done once. I just wanted to see what it was like. Uh, problem is you can't, you can't, they choose the veggies for you, so, and they weren't the best picked veggies, so I don't do it anymore, I just prefer to go out to Coles and grab them and pick you through the veggies, um, so there you go, that's the new setup, the day after first use, and cool graphics, check this out, I think I might have showed you this yesterday, I can't recall, there's Rob's um, stickers, and there's um, Luke's graphics, Luke's logo, that's his logo, so that's, that's Luke riding on the horse, and that's another horse at the rear end, with um, the kitchen drifter first first um, drifter kitchen I believe that he's ever built so that's where that um, you tell me if I've got that wrong Luke but from what I've heard that's how that one was generated that's how that came by 
And here's the, um, how cool are these? The rear uh, bag. Yeah, great, aren't they? Yeah, love them. It's great. Chuck all your dirty clothes in there, you know? Yeah. Perfect place for that, I reckon. I saw one, I saw the first one, or the second one that Luke ever made. It's on the back of his um, uh, truck there. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I think in this zip here, he's got a waterproof zip on there. So he's gone away with the waterproof zip and used this one here, I've noticed. Um, I noticed. you probably could use the waterproof zip on it as well. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this one here, you see, he had the waterproof zip. And I think I remember him mentioning that... Um, it doesn't really need to be waterproof that one, so you just whack the ordinary zips on them. So it's dot three five nine. So these dot trailers, for those that don't know, they're all numbered. So it starts at dot one. That's dot three five nine. So obviously this this is the three hundred and fifty ninth dot, and dot stands for Drifter Off Road Tourer. That's it. I wasn't sure about that, so lucky. Rob uh, mentioned that, so it's a drift off off-road tourer. And you see what Rob's setting up here? This is a rain gutter, because a lot of oh, a lot of these setups that you get when it rains, the water goes through. Same in the vehicles, doesn't matter what set. So they've got these rain gutters. And they get velcroed up. Slides on there, and that kind of velcros up. So you could work a bucket under here and collect rainwater. Yeah. And they use good quality, the and best Australian canvas Amazon. in the world. So these are Dynaproof Australian canvas. If you want to pause that, you can have a read of that. Uh, but guys, you won't get anything better. It's the same canvas that's on my rapid wing awning that I keep showing you all the time. <laughs> so, yeah, it's good. Sweet setup. Oh, there's a Julka shower. So she's all set up, ready to go. There's the plumbing. So, I know it looks complicated, but I've been told it is easy. Apparently, these things have got two tanks, two 80 litre tanks, so you can carry 160 litres in them. And you can change from one tank to the other, or you can pump with, fill up one tank, not the other one, vice versa, and so on. Pump's already there. Can you get water from an external so, source if you want to as well? Yes, you can. So, you can actually so get that, water from a different source as well. Yeah, so, this one um, up here allows you to. Suck water. There you go. From somewhere else if you wanted to. Haven't finished hooking it all the way up yet. Uh, Essentially this uh, red tap here will go on over the side over here and it goes off into the shower for hot water. Sweet. And uh, so your cold water can go through this guy and then go back up. And then back the, out yeah. and it goes through there. And the reason it goes up into here is because yeah. it actually has another one which goes down to the front so it can run hot water at the front as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, because the kitchen and these, they've got to pull out kitchen. There's a tap mm. there as well so you can run hot water from that. And the beauty with this thing, it's pretty much already set up. You, this here is just, you see that pivots out, this pivots out, that rolls down, a couple of pegs out, or poles, you can put poles if you want to, um, and then uh, connect these up and your shower's ready. There you go. So simple. Quick to set up. And that's the concept with these ones here. It's uh, set up so there's minimal work to do. So you can drive at camp, and basically within a few minutes, you could be up the top there sleeping because these things here has just got a couple of latches. You just release these latches and the whole thing pops up. So it's got these real big gas struts there and the whole thing pops up. Uh, it's got the awning at the front. You don't have to set the awning up if you don't want to. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, if you were driving somewhere, Phil, yeah. and uh, you pulled over on the side of the road for the night, you know, yeah. you know if you're doing a big, big touring, that's probably a yep. for that as well because you could... You just go straight to bed. Yeah. You know, just open up the top part, go to bed. Yeah. And uh, they they actually have this um, awning part here too. I'll show you. I've got it sitting around here. And guys, these are 100% waterproof. These are 10 ounce um, wax converter. Uh, so we sell this part here as well. I haven't opened this up just yet, but what it's designed to do is up the top of here, you'll see a zipper. Oh yeah, it that's goes, new. I haven't seen that, that before. It come, it Along down. the edge there, it's got a zip. Yeah. And then that zips on there. That's right, but it's dual purpose. It's just, see it actually, because it's still on the other side there. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah, so that stuff, that fits at the back. So you wouldn't have to set up your whole line. Ah. You feed that in quickly, you know, and just have a cover. So this is the latest. This is the new thing. So that works both ways. That's the latest. The front and the back. Yeah, no, that's good. Cool. what you want to do, you know. Yeah, that's, that's excellent. Good. That's a good idea. So it's quick to set up. 
Oh, Ian's got the fire pit. This is a new fire pit. This is Uniflame, is it? This, I have not seen these yet. So Uniflame is a Japanese company that makes awesome gear. And uh, Luke, uh, through the Drifter factory, imports um, the Uniflame gear into Australia, as well as uh, Snow Peak gear. So you'll pay a little bit more for these in some cases, not much more. Um, but I'll tell you what, they'll virtually they'll last you a lifetime. Because um, stainless steel, imagine that stainless steel, not too sure what that's made of. And, like as well. Yeah. So their gear is built to last. <laughs> wow, how's that? Isn't that cool? You could you could put a hook on here and a chain. Hey, look, he's already got it. <laughs> and you could hang your camp oven off that. Two camp ovens. <laughs> Actually matters. It's not too short the size of it. It's very similar to the large um, snow peak. Isn't that cool? And I think it's um see I've got the you would have seen my unit flame, I've got a uni flame fire pit. Uh but it's not like this. But this here looks like it packs up it packs up smaller than what mine does. This is actually um this is bigger, this is larger. Mm. And you'd have you'd have no problems getting the os pit through there. No, you could too, couldn't you? So the os pit would sit and down I've got there. The, the long salmon one, the mm. like Steve, uh, yeah. Steve Fuller's well, one. Yeah. You could have the os pit down low, yeah, so you nice. don't have to fill all this up. You only need a few coals down on the bottom, and sit it down low, and that'll actually help chill it from the wind a bit. Whereas yeah. mine is a bit more exposed, so this is actually a pretty good setup. Yeah. Got some uh, got some stainless steel mesh that I yeah. cut. That I'm just going to cut it in a bit of a, um, a folding circle mm. and just shove it there just to raise a little bit of oxygen. But it's more for the fire pit, not for cooking on. But yeah, no, this is so versatile. You could use that for so many it's things. Two hundred thirty-five bucks. Two hundred thirty-five. Yeah. I think the one I bought was like a hundred dollars when I bought it, but this here, I, I yeah. I can see that this is a lot better already. So, yeah, I like that. And it's pretty, I imagine it'll be pretty light too. It is too. So it doesn't, so how cool is that? Stainless steel, it's not going to rust. Packs up in a small bag. Luke makes these bags to fit them. No. No? That was actually a different one. Oh, that's right. You were mentioned yesterday that, that, yeah, yeah. yeah. Origo. Yeah. Origo, sorry. Origo. Yeah, yeah, it's one, one of the um, butane stove bags, actually. Aren't it? Yeah. Oh, the air control. The, um, oh, it's not the one we got. You can fit it in the two burner one, but I yeah. wanted a little extra. So some some of the bags that Luke makes are in canvas. Some of the others are in these boot liner bags. So he tends to use these boot liner bags for the stoves and so on because they got really good um, protection. So they're magic. And he's got a little orange highlight accent there. And these are the canvas ones. So they're, they're, they're the, those bags. They're, they're the canvas yeah. bags. And there's these bags as well. Actually, I've never ever I've gone through and showed um, it's all the bags. There's another bag there. Luke makes a bag for just about everything. Bag for a bag. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen this. So put a hard top lid on it. No, I've so heard about them. That's them a good idea. If you wanted to, and it, it also stops everything collapsing in on it. Yeah. So you put them onto it, and then mm -hmm. if you wanted to, you put this around wherever you want, and you can use it as a seat to sit on. That's a good that's idea. Not, you know. And also, that's a um, that's one of those milk crate bags milk crate boxes. Bags. Sorry, yeah. that's yeah. a milk crate box. Yeah. So what Luke's done, he's built a bag for that, and looks like he's made the uh, lid for it as well. Yeah. So what a brilliant idea that is. You can either get the milk crate boxes or we even sell timber boxes for them too. Really? Yeah, sell timber ones for them too, mate. There we are. I'll let you see, Rob. <laughs> and if you want a softer reinforcement, Bunnings $4.99 for the little cube inserts. Really? And they, it goes in there. 
Makes it perfect. We've got oh. the ogre bags on there too. Oh, yeah. Little bags that fit into those things. Oh yeah, that's a good yeah. I've seen them at the uh, yeah. I've seen I've seen them at the shop yeah. there. And I might have to get one of these, a couple of these one day, and replace me old Horizon ones I've got at home. Three of them, building what, them all the time. What I like about this, you don't lose any space. The ones I got kind of curve in a bit, and they're like that, and you got all this space that's not used. This here, because it's straight up and down, and uh, these are waterproof too. Yep. These, um, hey, that's, is that soft on them? Yeah, it's got carpet on top of it, on top of that bit of timber. Oh, okay. So, soft on your bum, mate, when you sit on it. Well, <laughs> it is. I can feel I can feel So, it's got thick carpet, so I can feel. Unzip it, Phil. Yeah, no. Oh, I did unzip it, but I didn't, I didn't take any notice. You can see the little, the look at the workmanship and details, the tags. Look at that. And they got drifter written on the tags. Yeah. There you go. Look at that, guys. Nice, thick, okay. and that'll be marine carpet. Looks like marine mm -hmm. carpet. It's a bit timber. There it is. In between. So it just sits inside there on top of it like that. And uh, we make a box that actually has this on it and it lifts up. So it's actually part of, part of the box. And oh, the same box. size as this you so you can use size. the so bag. You can, you can get it in timber if you want to, the whole yeah. part in timber if you want to as well. Yep. So just have a good... Yeah, that's a good idea. This is another product from Uniflame. These yeah, are very yeah. popular in Australia, these. We, we got the new ones in too. Yeah, there's got a the new, new one. They designed weekend. a new one just for um, Australia. Twice the size. Um, and they're going to be released this weekend. Yeah, we got them here this weekend. We yeah. yeah, so we'll have a look at them. Uh, drifter tables, similar to mine, except this one don't have a hole in it like mine does. <laughs> How do you get a hole in yours? I managed to drill a hole through it when I was <laughs> oh, setting it up. Right. Yeah, when I when I was installing my new fridge. It was the slightly lighter and, version. Yeah. You can buy from Drifter. And this is the kitchen, guys. Look at that. So Robert's got the same uh, metho stove as mine. These are brilliant. If you can ever get a hold of one of these, I mean, grab them. Uh, sometimes you'll see them pop up on Gumtree really cheap. I don't think people realise exactly how how people are how they're being sought after there's a lot of people chasing them uh, both Robert and myself are lucky and we ordered them before they were actually um, discontinued I don't know if they're discontinued worldwide or just for Australia only I've got no idea so this is another new one from Snow Peak so that can be used as a pizza oven as well won't get as hot as mine seen that one but yeah I actually saw these on YouTube uh. These are new. This this yes, is brilliant. I like that. Look at see. You can use these small, and they got these attachments there. Sits on there, connects on. If you can see that, now you can see how that connects on this. So you don't need to carry those whopping big um, tanks, gas tanks. Although if you got a trailer like this, you got no problems carrying a, a, yeah. a gas tank in here. Well, I like it because it takes small ones. And yeah. That, so you're all right. Yeah, but for those that are traveling light in the car and you don't have a um a trailer these igts i've never showed you these yet but these are also from snow peak they're from japan uh these legs just pop in and uh extremely lightweight and you can buy all these accessories in them uh there's uh like rod's got have a look here you'll see the um like barbecue on here yeah it's normally doesn't sit on it that yep. pops off and then we put our charcoal, lift this off in, put our charcoal underneath there. Yeah. And uh, it's a little winder that sits underneath it in here, which is just here, the little winder that comes with them. So you can adjust the height. Yeah, so you put this down underneath here and then you can lower it, you See know. See how it's going up higher and it goes down yeah. lower. So you just get the height, you know, that you need yep. for cooking. And, uh, yeah. And uh, Steve Fuller was showing Brilliant. us here last time I was here. Yeah, he cooked a pizza and he went and got the uh, our windshield that put goes around and he's chucked it on top of it. Yeah. And I uh, whacked the pizza and then cooked it. <laughs> it came out beautiful. Isn't that interesting? That's yeah. a good idea, eh? Right? Yeah, great little idea. This is yeah. hook on the end. Nelly. Almost. <laughs> we'll get that back in there. Yeah. Perfect. There it is. It does fit. <laughs> it's better just a little bit there look <laughs> so yeah these set up very quick 
very very quick these um so like i said before everything to do with these dot trailers is simplified quick easy setup um so the idea is to arrive at camp and you don't have to spend an hour to set up so including this awning it's how you can set this up on your own no problems uh once you get the hang of it yeah you can get it done yeah, real quick actually get the hang of it there pretty yeah good. It, I would yeah. probably recommend that people have two people when they do do it. It's yeah. windy. Oh it's yeah, windy, if it's windy. Fine. Yeah. If it's windy, you do need two people real, you should have two people because yeah. it can lift up. You've got to be careful it doesn't lift up on you. Yeah. But, um, but if it does, these are designed with a weak point. Yeah. And the weak point is right here. And we tend to always carry spares with us. That's right. I've had my rapid wing for quite a while now, and it's only ever happened once, and it was one, not even when I was camping. It was just set up in the backyard. Uh, a, a freakish storm picked up and took over, and this whole thing just flipped over, and one of these snapped. And honestly, within 10 minutes, I had it repaired because i got spares in the car. You just drill that out, unbolt this, Put the new one in, drill a hole through this because they don't have the hole with it, and whack another pop rivet in, and it was done. So it's a good, good design. I've seen others where they've built these and they're much stronger. Um, but yeah, I mean, something's going to break with those. I think you probably know what brands I'm talking about. I'm not going to mention them here. Uh, but yeah, big potential. Uh, risk there so that's that's why these have got the plastic on on them so that's that's the idea with that all right so well that's it i'm gonna log off for now and um as more people arrive in probably from friday i'll do more videos of um different setups and so on um so this is just a bit of a quick tour of this one here there's plenty of other videos all about this. If you go onto Luke's uh, YouTube channel and the Drifter, he shows how these are set up. He, he's got really good, I mean, everything everything you see here has got reviews on all this. Everything he sells is all tested. Um, so he tests them, puts them out the field uh, before he he sells any, anything. So, so you know what's on there has just all been proven to last all the gear. Uh, some more gear that he makes So these again just slide in on the rail so there's pockets in there you can put gear in So it's a brilliant setup bamboo tabletop so Sweet excellent And look at that guys beautiful day here People are starting to come move in You can see some people setting up there Uh so it's very nice here. When I got here yesterday, it was a bit blowy. Uh, so I waited late in the afternoon before I set up my rapid wing. And um, yeah, no problems at all then. But awesome day today. So it's a nice campground here, guys. It's Bluff Creek. It's out near Kenilworth. So it's a Bluff Creek campground. So I've got a couple of toilet blocks and the toilet blocks have actually got flushing toilets and hot showers and you don't have to pay extra for them. And they've got these um, portaloos scattered throughout the the um, campgrounds too. There's one there, there's one there, there's further right down there. There's a little creek there just behind me there. And if you walk out that way, it's a walking track out there and you've got the Mary River. So you can go there for a swim, uh, you can bring a canoe, kayak or whatever and paddle up and down the the Mary River. Um, so it's offer it uh, quite a lot to offer here, and also it's very close to Kenilworth with its uh, cheese factory, and they've got a awesome bakery there, which we're going to go have a look later. I'm going to jump in the car with Rod soon. We're going to go out, and uh, we're going to go out to the cheese factory and the um, the bakery, uh, and apparently they sell one kilogram donuts there so katie ava you, I, I know you're sitting there watching this at home um donuts that are one kilogram i kid you not one kilogram 
Yeah, one kilogram donuts. I don't think I can get through one of them. No, I don't think you'll be able to eat one of those, Ava, but um, I'm going to go there and I'll film it and I'll show you soon. But I'm going to log off now before the battery's flat. Okay, bye.